there everyone, welcome back once again as we're back in for another episode of Predecessor as we are taking Terra into the offlane, see if we can't break out Curse and not being able to win a single match with her, so let's just get into it and well, this will be a bit of a weird one. We have Chimera, Narbash, Decca, Argus, and wait, no, obvious. Who's going to be the uh, front line? Oh well, I guess technically Narbash or Chimera can be the front line, but not no real obvious solo picks, I would say. So, but if I had to make a guess at what, okay, well we saw August mid lane, so that rules him out, thankfully. So that puts us between Wraith, who's probably going to be the ADC. Wraith and Narbash are probably going to be duo. So, I think in this case it will probably be Decca. Or, oh, okay. We have Narbash. This will be interesting. I mean. We should have a pretty decent matchup into him. Because we can just walk at him and then just use his abil use our abilities. So it's Decca. Uh, guess we'll just simply see about. He'll be a bit annoying with his whole self healing, but he'll have to use mana for that. Straight for me, huh? Oh, it's one. I mean, it makes sense. They were pretty pushed up. But I really do not see how this Narbash will be able to win against us once we start getting some items online. Say for Chimera, just simply hand holding Narbash. The entire time, which I don't think he would, considering dual lane will probably be in importance to him. Oh, lazy backing. Let's get this under Narbash's tower, that will... Well, I guess he'll just simply have to face tank it. Oh. Basically looking to just simply take advantage of Narbash's terrible clear. by making use of that terrible clear we can try and see about grabbing Chimera's camps when we're not getting ganked all the time.
Well. Seems like we'll just simply go have uh, Chimera just simply sticking in our lane for the entire time. So once we get this mutilator up, I do want to start building a tainted blade so that way we can really neutralize gnaw bashes and chimera's healing effects. Does he ever not be here, is the question. He is... I feel like Hamer is just simply losing so much ability to farm just repeatedly ganking me like this. So let's see. We have... Narbash with... Brimstone. So that's probably going to be how he's going to end up burning us for the most part. Oh, his main source of damage. An enemy tower is under attack. Well, no bash back, so let's go ahead and push. See about grabbing Chimera form. Does this Chimera ever not be here? I swear, every time. Let's go ahead and back, regroup ourselves, grab our mutilator, which will be incredibly useful for our damage against this guy. Next up would be our Tainted Blade to really reduce the health that people like Narbash and Chimera, who seems to enjoy being here, would normally enjoy. Once we get that, probably a Citadel.
Evil Chimera to protect you there. It's a bit risky to go for this blue buff, but I feel like we just simply need it for our region. Not to mention, this actually is pretty safe since Chimera is open left. Missing white since no eyes on Norbash. That is Norbash. And if he's not going to be here, then we will happily take advantage of him not being here to push. Don't really want to go against Chimera too much yet since Although we do do a good amount of damage on him when we land stuff I don't believe that this Chimera has actually left yet This should be a free tower for us. Alright, let's grab that tainted blade that we've been wanting to grab for a while now once we take this Chimera's jungle. So taking a Cyan buff because there's still more wave to be have. And now we can find it back. Oh my goodness. So big back for huge item. Grabbing the ice going so that way we can keep up with people since I feel like that's one of Terra's like usual weaknesses I would believe. Uh, we're going to grab a Crystalline Curus so that way we can mitigate the damage that Narbash's uh, Fire Blossom will have on us, not to mention it will allow us to also keep our movement up on him. I'm tempted since August is probably distracted by what's going on in here we can actually probably sneak the mid tower away which will be a very nice thing for us Ok, 
gets us back. South actually should be able to get Knob Ash, maybe. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and gone. Alright. We'll go ahead and back up for now so that way we can. Okay, we're actually backing up. We'll be nearly there to our crystalline, which will be very useful. Not bad choosing to... Well, I mean... If he gets kills off of it, then... But he is leaving the inhibitor open. The Nobash try and interrupt his. Okay, this is a bit embarrassing. I mean, thank to this common, so might as well grab it. And also, I just realized that we don't actually have our qu our QS yet, so... Really, what we should be thinking was the Ice Gone Talent for our uh, speed booth to catch up on August on. But now we do have the Crystal, so we now can start thinking that as well. Tempted to go into a Tainted Guard, so that way we can really neuter the Chimera's healing, but I think Citadel will be more useful to us, since we like to be in the thick of things, and it will also shred their armor, which we like to be doing. Probably not going to be able to get this. So let's just back it on up for now since I have the feeling that Chimera is on the way for 3v1. Ah, damn it. Well, the rest of the team should be able to maybe clean this up. But 
actually, who am I saying? The rest of the team will be able to clean that. Saved the uh doing pretty nicely, but nice things could easily end up turning back on us as mo many of our terror games have gone. Come out dead. Outbomb isn't bad, but that Chimera is up again. Well, he does only have the regular hunt since we've been taking a lot of his form, and so I think this might be. So wait. An ally tower is under attack. Well, we have a pretty I would say we should actually be attacking this bot. I guess he isn't interested. Citadel, which will be a very nice add on for us. And where do we go? Yes, we could probably go into an augmentation since the spell blade effect that the item has will be nice for us. on team. We are making our way left side now.
finally seen someone that good tail damage. And I think that is gonna be game. I don't think, uh, yeah, they, Decca is not gonna be coming out like that. If she did, then that would be suicide. Oh, <sighs> but finally, we broke our curse on Terra. We finally managed to record a game with a win on her. Oh, yeah, feels good. Granted, the, uh, I feel like if we if we had fought a different kind of team, we might have been in a better situation, but you know what? It is what it is. So, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to you guys and gals that make this channel live, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now!